dear all i would like to welcome you all in the lecture series of basic electrical engineering in this session i am going to discuss one of the very important university exam point of view there is a one important question you can see in the most of the question paper derive the expression for frequency of rotor current so we are talking about the derivation related to the frequency of rotor current concerning induction motor so let's understand this particular derivation so you already know the working of induction motor in brief we are providing the three phase supply as soon as we provide the three phase supply at the stator what is going to happen a rotating magnetic field is going to produce let me know what is the rotate speed of rotating magnetic field the speed of rotating magnetic field is known as synchronous speed so let us write so let let the speed of the speed of rotating magnetic field rotating equal to ns right that is equal to 120 into f divided by p can you tell me what is f f is known as the supply frequency where p is known as number of poles please call it as equation number one hope you understood this concept we already discussed in the previous session now what do we mean by slip speed we have the slip speed the slip speed how to calculate slip, slip speed ns minus n that means difference between synchronous speed and the actual speed actual speed is indicated by the letter capital letter n what is actual speed actual speed is nothing but the speed of rotor ns is already you know that is synchronous speed so that is nothing but so what we can write 120 into f dash by p so please call it as equation number two where f dash is known as the frequency of the frequency of rotor current frequency of rotor current now what you can do is so divide divide equation 2 and 1 so can you divide this yeah of course we can do that equation number 2 is so first we will divide LHS part that is ns minus n divided by ns. Okay, hope you understood. Look at the LHS part. Now we look at the RHS part. What is the RHS part? 120 f dash by p whole divided by 120 f by p implies what is this ns minus n divided by ns? Are you recalling this? ns minus n is nothing but slip speed divided by synchronous speed ns what is the meaning of this it is nothing but slip we already discussed slip is nothing but the ratio of slip speed to the synchronous speed or else difference between synchronous speed to the actual speed to, to the synchronous speed that is called a slip so we can call it as s s is known as slip so here 120 f by p you can see very carefully so let me simplify this Okay, so how we can simplify? So I'll be writing here 120 f dash by p. That should be multiplied with the reciprocal. P a divided by 120 f. Now 120 and 120 will be cancelled. P and p will be getting cancelled. The remaining term will be f dash divided by f. So how I can write like a f dash by f. So I'm going to write like this. F dash divided by so from this you can calculate the frequency of rotor current f dash is known as frequency of rotor current you have to multiply both s into f so ultimately i have derived an expression very very important for your university examination point of view the frequency of rotor current is nothing but the slip into the supply frequency s sub f dash is equal to s into f please do remember this if you know this formula you can solve the following numerical example let us solve the numerical example so, I will show you one numerical example. 
So first of all, you have to read the problem very carefully. The frequency of voltage applied to a four pole induction motor is 50 Hertz. And that of rotor induced EMF is 1.5 Hertz. What is the slip and what is the speed of the motor is running? So let us note the given data. What are the data they have provided us? The frequency of voltage applied to four pole induction motor. Let me note down P is equal to four. P is nothing but number of poles. And 50 Hertz is the stator supply frequency. So let me note down F is equal to how much? 50 Hertz. Hope it is clear to everyone. Uh, and one more important information they have provided us. The rotor induced EMF is 1.5 Hertz. What is the meaning of this? It is nothing but frequency of rotor current. That is nothing but how much? 1.5 Hertz. Hope it is clear to everybody. What is the slip? I would like to calculate. I'm supposed to calculate the slip. And also, I need to compute what is the actual speed of rotor. These are the parameters which are to be calculated. So, how we can do that? So, from this data, I know F dash and F. So, you already know that the frequency of rotor current, just before we have done the derivation, F dash is equal to S into F. From this, I can easily calculate the slip. What is slip? F dash divided by S. Sorry, F. So, what is F dash? F dash is 1.5 Hertz upon what is the value of F? It is 50. What is 1.5 by 50? Take your calcium, take your calcium and do that. You should get 0 0.03. Please check it up once. Okay. So I have got the value of slip. So this part is over. Next, my intention is to calculate the speed of motor. That means actual speed. So you know the relationship between the slip, synchronous speed, and the actual speed. The slip is nothing but ns minus n divided by ns. Hope it is clear. So uh, from this, you can substitute the value of slip. Slip is how much? 0 0.03. What is ns? How to calculate ns? Here I can calculate ns. ns is nothing but 120f by p. This formula you must have remembered. 120 into what is the supply frequency, stator frequency, 50 divided by P is how much? 4. So, 30, okay, that means 1500 RPM. It is very clear to everybody. So, instead of NS, I can substitute 1500 RPM. It is a synchronous speed. We can easily calculate. It is a synchronous speed. Please work out by yourself. Don't need to see my simplification. Kindly work by yourself. Still, you are getting confusion means you can refer this video. So, divided by n, divided by 1500. Kindly simplify this. How we can simplify? Cross multiplication. 0 0.03 into 1500 is equal to 1500 minus n. Therefore, how to calculate the value of n? n we have to calculate. So, I will be writing here. n is nothing but 1500 minus 0 0.03 into 1500. Use the calcium simplify. You must get 1,055 1, RPM. This is your n. So actual speed is equal to. So second part I, I could get the, the, uh, the motor is running at a speed of 1445 1, RPM. Hope uh, this is very clear to everybody. So we have got the synchronous speed, then slip, slip uh, we have computed. Apart from that, we could get the value of rotor speed. So you can expect the similar kind of problem in your university examination. Even those who are preparing for gate examination or any other competitive examination, you may get a similar kind of numerical example. If you have any questions, kindly put up in the comment box. I'm very happy to answer back. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a happy learning. Let me conclude. Thank you.